everyone. Welcome back to Whit Family Fit. Welcome to the vlog. Um, we have a very busy day in front of us. I am headed to Houston in a little while with my um, foster love for an appointment that she has. But in the meantime, I have to get some fuelings ready to go because you all know that I'm waiting on my box and running low. So this morning and today, we are going to make use of some shakes that I don't personally like to drink that we're going to make into some food, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna make this morning for breakfast is some peanut butter waffles. How delicious. So I have the silky peanut butter chocolate shake. I'm going to put that into my bowl. I am going to add to that one egg white, which I'm just gonna take a little bit off my lean for these egg whites that I'm using and to bake these. These are. These are basically um, little hacks to bake the fuelings in a different way. So can you go throw that in the trash for me? Yes, All right, thank you. So I have one egg white going in there and then I'm going to add also into my bowl, I'm going to do um, three tablespoons of almond milk. And then I like to do a pinch of baking powder as well. It just helps to like fluff it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna do anytime I bake or waffle a shake or any product that wasn't made to be baked or waffled, I just add like probably an eighth of a teaspoon, not very much at all. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this up. I'm going to waffle it. It's probably gonna take about four minutes, but I will let you know when I'm done how long it actually takes. All right, don't forget to spray your waffle maker with your cooking spray. I'm gonna break mine into two waffles so it doesn't overflow. So we're gonna start that and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, so here's my finished product of the peanut butter shake waffles. I did top them with just a dab of Ready Whip and half a tablespoon of um, sugar-free syrup for a condiment. Um, all right, restart. I'm gonna do two packages of Orchard Apple Cinnamon Oatmeal and then I'm gonna do two packages of Bold and Chocolate Chip Pancakes. So these are gonna be oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, okay? This is going to make four fuelings, okay? Because I put four bags into it. So I'll have two for today and two for tomorrow. So I'm gonna split this evenly into um, four different portions when I bake it, okay? So because this is going into four portions, I need to add eight um, table, tablespoons of almond milk, okay? And then I'm going to add two egg whites. I'll throw that one in the trash for me. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of baking powder just since I have the oatmeal in there. And then I actually am gonna throw in a pinch of cinnamon as well um, to this because it is gonna be um, cinnamon chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. And these are going to be really good to grab and go for my trip. Okay, so I'm going to get these all mixed up and then I'm going to put them on the pan, which I'm going to spray and bake them at 375 for about 10 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm All right, guys, so here's what my finished oatmeal chocolate chip cookies look like. Um, they're nice and brown on the bottom, easy to pick up. I'm going to package these in bags. So I'll have two servings for today and two servings for tomorrow. They'll be great to travel with. Guys, another thing I'm gonna bring with me to munch on in the car, I love the Optivia popcorn, however, I'm also out of that. This um, Smart Food Smart 50 is not completely identical because it doesn't have as much protein as the Optivia popcorn, but um, it does have, um, in one cup, it has 2.5 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and zero grams of sugar. So I'm gonna do one cup um, for each day that I'm gonna be gone. So I'm just gonna put that into a bag and bring that along with me as something to snack on in the car. All right guys, it's about 10.30. I'm finally on the road. It's time for another fueling. I've been drinking my water. Um, I'm gonna save my coffee for later since I have a long drive, but I'm gonna have two of my cookies right now. Not bad, they're pretty good. It'll last for a chocolate chip cookie. All right guys, it's about 11.30. I'm on the road still, obviously. I think we're gonna be there around like three o'clock. Um, Anyways, I'm gonna have a little snack. Um, this is that popcorn I talked about in the video this morning. I'm also gonna have my sugar-free root beer. We're stopped. There's like road work, and I guess they're letting people through like one side at a time. So we're just parked here 
waiting to, for our turn. Hopefully it's not very long that we have to wait. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. We're going to have dinner tonight with one of my friends at a restaurant called, I put something on my face, True Foods Kitchen, um, which has a really good, um, what is on my face? I don't know, something. Which has a really good spaghetti squash casserole with chicken that I'm really excited to have. So that should be good. I'm also going to go get a manicure because my nails look bad and a pedicure. So we're just uh, making the best of having to drive to Houston. All right, well, we made it to Canton, Texas, which was approximately uh, not very long <laughs> from where we left. And uh, before baby girl was just screaming. So I decided to get out of the car and go into Walmart and just walk around for a little while. I found the coolest product in there. It's a pickle in a pouch. And I'm going to show you because I can't wait to have it with my lunchtime fueling. I did have to use some willpower to pass on Canton trade days, which has already started for first Monday, 4th of July weekend. It's kind of hot though. And I didn't want to go get all sweaty. And then I just want to get to Houston. So anyways, yep. We are back on the road and baby girl is not going to be very happy about it. Right, I am guys, sure. So we are back on the road. This is the product I wanted to show you. They're called O oh snap. This entire package of dill pickles is 15 calories. There's no brine in it. So it's not a mess and you can eat it and throw the package away so you don't need a whole jar and I thought that was great because I'm gonna have it with my honey mustard sticks and then also my uh, reduced fat string cheese so that's gonna be my lunch here on the road I am saving my coffee hack for about three o'clock so I'm excited for that I've been waiting all day but I knew I needed something to break the drive up for me so I, that's why I had that cookie thing earlier but anyway so far so good um, I'm just you know it's that time of the month and I'm stressed about you know, unpacking and all that. And I just want to go eat all the things and have Mexican food tonight, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm choosing to stay on plan. I am not going to have the opportunity to get my healthy motion in today. Um, but you know, that's the wonderful thing about this plan too. While that's recommended and while it's good, the plan still works without it. So if I had to take a day or two off because I got to go to Houston, no big deal. So anyways, I will check in with you guys later. I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Hey guys, I am feeling so good. I just got my toes done and my fingers done. I got 4th of July red. Had my Starbucks. The baby love has been amazing. Sitting there sleeping, eating, playing in her stroller for mommy, which is awesome. Okay guys, here's the famous spaghetti squash casserole with grilled chicken and veggies. It was supposed to be cauliflower. It looks like it's some medley of carrots and uh, broccoli, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It looks delicious. And my water. All right guys, I have found the mother load. This is the ice cream I've only been able to find at this specific H&B in Houston. And it is the coffee bon petit. Oh, it's yeah, sweetie ice cream coffee. But they made the um. Hold on, I lied. No wait, I need. Ah, I need to look at this. 100 calories, six grams of sugar, eight grams of protein, seven grams of net carbs for two third of cup. Three grams of fat. Six grams of sugar. Eight grams of protein. Okay. I think I need the lower one. This is vanilla. No, blue ooh, blueberries and cream. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get blueberries and cream. The coffee one looks really good, but that's... This is 84, five and six, 85, five and eight. This is salted caramel, chocolate. I'm gonna go with blueberries and cream. All right. So this is Sweeties. There's 280 calories in this whole thing. It's less sugar. Hold on. 80 calories per half a cup, two grams of fat. Six, oh, this has a lot more carbs though. 16 grams of carbs. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta rethink this one. All right guys, I decided to go with the blueberry. I'm gonna replace my feeling with this tonight. I'm not claiming it's 100% on plan, but I don't think it will pull me out of fat burn. Um, I'm gonna have the serving that okay, friends, we're gonna have a real discussion here um i am probably gonna get disowned by octavia for saying this but this ice cream i'm not claiming that the nutritional value is the same right but when you're looking at calories carbs and sugars this is almost equivalent to a bar which i don't have so i'm not saying to eat this every night but for tonight this is gonna be my last feeling okay i'll put the um picture of both of the nutrition labels in so y'all can see I'm not claiming that this works like Optavia, but I don't think it's gonna pull me out of fat burn because nutrition, at least calories, carbs, and sugars are about equal. So, 
Guys, I'm gonna warn you, that was delicious. Probably addicting. I ate my serving and I put the rest down. That was really good. It's probably a real good thing that I don't have an HEB where I live because I could see wanting to regularly replace a fueling with that, which I know is not what you should do and I'm not recommending it. Mm, I've missed ice cream, but that ice cream was delicious and for a treat every now and again, that fits the profile for what you need to have, that's a good choice. I recommend Sweetie's ice cream. So major mom fail. I literally only brought one bottle with me and what did we do? I think we left at the it next at light. Turn right. The um, restaurant. And I'm not going to turn around and go get it. So we're going to go to CVS because there's one close to here. And we're going to get another bottle. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say about it.